All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to, we're back with Orly Undergrounds, and I'm so, so, so glad. Um, Jen and I have been talking about this for quite a while, and we are pretty excited about the lineup we have. We do have a good amount of products that we're going to go through. So I do want to encourage you guys to write down things that one, you haven't heard of. Um, if you've heard of things that stick out, you guys, I would love for you guys to remember, search the groups for testimonials as well afterwards. Um, we noticed when we were chatting, um, today is Jen's five-year anniversary with Young Living. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, and I've been with Young Living for seven and a half years. So between the two of us who are extremely loyal users, we were like, okay, we should talk this, 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 and this, but we don't want to overwhelm you. So what we're going to do is give you a taste and then explain why we use these products. Um, first things first, I thought it was very important that we talked about the immune system really quickly. Um, Jen, can you pull up that image for me? So I made this little chart. Um, it is a very dumbed down version and not because I don't think you guys are smart, but because for me, simple is better. And if you're a brand partner and you're wanting to share, I think simple is better. If you're a customer and you're just wanting to get your family healthy, simple is better. So these are the very basic ways that we can support and help our immune systems. The first one is exercise. Um, Jen's going to go into this in detail. If you don't already follow her on Instagram, you need to. She's so good with balancing all of these, but um, exercise is something that I really admire about her, but getting our bodies moving and she's going to do that. So I'm not going to do that. Um, stress, finding ways to control, manage, and I know this is going to sound weird, but honor our stress is, is stress can be massive for the um, hurting your immune system. And we're going to give you guys some tips and stuff on that too. The making sure that your gut is well taken care of might be, I think in, in our community, we understand that, but I think as a globe, that's something people look over all the time. They do not take it as seriously. And there's some really, 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 I mean, it's seconds a day that you guys can do um, to help with your, your gut cleanliness is something, and I know it sounds weird to have that on here, we're a bunch of adults, but I know we have teachers and aunts and mothers and grandmothers and, and all these in here that, that have to remind our littles to be clean. And I do think that sometimes we skip simple steps, um, you know, when we're out and things like that. So cleanliness is another thing that can really, really break down your immune system, not getting enough sleep. Um, I'm the queen of excuses for staying up late because this is my only quiet time. And it really is so important to sleep well. So we have some uh, ways to help with that and making sure our body is getting the right nutrients. I put food, but I probably should have put nutrients. Um, the reality of the situation, I eat very well. I know a lot of you guys, I can see some of your faces are more close and I know you eat well. But even when I eat well, I'm not getting everything I need. I, my stomach physically cannot hold the amount of food I would need to meet all of my nutritional goals. And that is where really, really quality supplements can come in and make a massive difference um, where we can eat well and also fill in the gaps with, of nutrients with um, really amazing products. Um, you know, we can all do our best, but also like not feel guilty if you want a Snickers bar every once in a while, or if you, you know, ate four bags of, well, not, maybe not four, but like, you know, four baskets of, of chips and salsa before your food even came, whatever it is, is your vice. You know, you don't have to feel guilty if 80% if of the time you're making really good choices and your supplement routine as well, you, I, I vote live your life. So um, Jen, I'm going to have you go first, but those are our very basics that we're going to focus on tonight. Okay. Can you guys see me again? I'm not sharing my screen anymore. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about is exercise. And this is something that is super important to me. And I absolutely notice a huge difference in my life, in my immune system when I am actually exercising regularly. So I think the biggest question for most people is does regular exercise actually help your immune system? And I mean, in short, yes. Exercise is going to benefit your body in so many ways and boosting your immunity is, I mean, it's just one of those things, but you also have to take into consideration the frequency, the duration, the intensity, like all of those things 
absolutely matter. Um, and you know, in general, exercising at a moderate to vigorous intensity for 60 minutes or less is optimal, optimal for immune boosting benefits of exercise. And I know that a lot of people don't have that kind of time. Um, so I, I pulled some stats from the Department of Health and Human Services, and they said that most adults should get at least 150 to 300 minutes of just moderate intensity aerobic activity, or you can do 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week. So maybe you have way more time on the weekends to devote to exercise than say on a Tuesday. So kind of think about that and build that into your life because it's going to make a really big difference. And when we're talking about your immune system, it's going to help your immune system in a lot of ways. The first way is going to be exercise is going to stimulate that cellular immunity. So, um, you know, when we think about the way that exercise is going to increase the circulation of immune cells in your body. Like that's a good thing. And regular exercise is going to enhance that immune defense activity by making you more resistant to infection and just better equipped to deal with infectious agents, um, that are already gaining traction in your body. So the second thing is exercise is going to raise your body temperature. Um, so unless you're moving at like a snail's pace, your body is going to go up in most forms of exercise and it's going to stay elevated for that short period of time, even after you're working out. So that is significant because, um, you know, it's a commonly held belief that, that just that brief rise in body temperature, both during and after your exercise is going to help prevent bacteria from growing and help your body, um, just better address those kind of infections. Um, it's kind of similar to how a fever is going to work. So the third thing is exercise is going to help you sleep better, which we're going to touch more on that in a little bit, but just regular physical activity is going to just contribute to better overall sleep quality and quantity. And that is going to boost your immune system. Um, and at the very least, it's not going to contribute to, um, depleting your immune system. So the fourth thing is exercise is going to decrease your risk of things like heart disease, diabetes, and just other diseases. So the reason I included this is because having one or more of those conditions is going to make it a lot more difficult for your immune system to ward off infections. Um, so just getting exercise into your daily routine is just a really good thing. Um, the fifth thing, and we're going to talk about this more later, but exercise is going to help decrease things like stress and other conditions like depression. So there's a reason people like working out, you know, at the beginning of their day, it really jump starts um, their day or even after a long day at work, it's going to help decrease that stress. So regular exercise is going to offer a protective benefit against stress. And that means that exercise helps you proactively handle stressors in a more resilient and better way. Um, so that is going to, the way that that ties back into your immune system is it's going to mean that you have lower chronic inflammation in your body. Um, and then leading into that, the sixth thing that I wanted to just touch on real quick is that exercise is going to help reduce inflammation. So inflammation, maybe most of you know, maybe you don't is a normal immune response that your body uses. And it's going to do that to address toxins and pathogens. So, um, you know, acute inflammation isn't necessarily a problem, but when that acute response just remains uncontrolled, it's going to become chronic and potentially lead to just a host of inflammatory diseases. So a lot of research is showing that if exercise can reduce inflammation and keep that immune response in check. Um, but again, like I said earlier, the intensity duration and frequency absolutely matter. So I think the biggest takeaway is that just moderate exercise with appropriate periods of rest can really maximize the effectiveness of your body's, um, inflammatory immune response. And that's just going to also lower your risk of chronic inflammation. So we're not going to go into a ton of, you know, things that will help you as far as, um, supplements and oils and whatnot from young living, because that's kind of for another call, but we did just want to include exercise as one of those things that you can really do to be supporting your immune system. Nailed it. I feel like she did that all from head too, which is something I feel like you need to speak at the convention on that. Um, okay. So the next thing I want to talk about, or we're going to talk about is the gut, uh, gut health is so, 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 so massive, massive. It does play into food, but, um, our immune system, 70 to 80% of your immune system is in your gut. 
alone. Okay. And the way that I want you guys to think about it is your, your, your immune system is lonely without probiotics. And the reason I want you to think about it that way is that you can, it does work. Your immune system works without a really, really healthy gut, but it doesn't work as well. When you have a partner, you do better. You're happier and you thrive and your stomach is the exact, your gut is the exact same way. So partner it up. Don't leave it lonely. Give it something that helps it make the very, very best of it. Um, also, your di if your digestion is compromised, your bodies can underproduce neurotransmitters like serotonin. Okay. 90% of your serotonin, which is causes, you know, you to feel happy. 90% of your serotonin is made in your gut. So low serotonin is contributes to anxiety, depression, and lots and lots of mental health issues. This is not everyone, you know, I'm not saying if you have anxiety or depression that like, okay, we'll just take a probiotic and you'll be fine. But what I am saying is overall health, wellness, immunity, and emotions, loving your gut and giving it a partner to work with it is huge. Okay. So I do have a couple supplements on this one. Um, Life nine. Life nine is amazing, amazing, amazing. It is Young Living's um, probiotic. This I give this to my kids, who can my Molly. Okay, I take that back. I take I give this to Molly, who can swallow pills. Fisher takes Mighty Pro, which is the kids' immune, um, or the get, and she's gonna get on that. But I also put this in Max's yogurt, um, mostly just because you know it's just easy. You crack it open, you can put in things. So if you are in a budget. Both Mighty Pro and Life9 can work for adults and for kids. I have shared this story a million times, but I had a very, very, very particular pediatrician for a while, and they were blown away by Life9. They couldn't believe how many live active cultures it is. Um, there's 17 billion active cultures in this. This is a lot. That it's in the wide variety that we have are the top of the line. So um, Life9. The other thing that I have. Where did I put it? Oh, you really need to make sure that your gut and your colon and things are clean. Okay. So if you're not pooping enough, you are letting toxins sit in your stomach and that's not going to be good for anybody. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much you should ideally poop because whatever, that feels like something Ashley would want to tell you guys. Um, but if you have troubles with this, ICP daily is a really easy way to do it. It comes in a scooper. Um, I, I will say ICP daily, I do have trouble stirring it. So I do use a, thro a frother, but I stir this again into our shakes. I stir it into the kids yogurt and it makes a world of difference. According to a study that I read when I was looking this up earlier, something about about 20% of children are chronically constipated. And this is because they're not drinking enough water. They're not eating enough fiber and they're just not eating well enough. We wonder why our kids are sick and why our kids are are, are kind of like sad or, or grumpy or things like that. We have to get these toxins out of our body or they're just going to sit there. So ICP daily is a really, 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 really good one. Um, I feel like this is for like moderate, you know, kind of keeping yourself balanced. If you have um, a legit issue with constipation, comfort tone is bomb. It is really, really good. I personally do not recommend it unless you have a actual issue with constipation. Um, but, okay, so someone asked how much I give my kids. I give them um, half a serving. So um, Max does not eat it, but occasionally I just sprinkle it in. Um, and I'm kind of of the mind, like if you look at the, it ha this has like cactus and aloe, um, ginger, there's so much good stuff in this. And, um, so like, even if you kind of don't need it, I feel like it hurts, but I give my kids a half serving. The other thing, and I am going to read my notes for this one, because this actually, um, digest and cleanse was the first supplement I ever took from Young Living. And it went out of stock for like five years and I was devastated. And this, I want to read about it really quick. So digest and cleanse supports healthy digestion. It soothes gastrointestinal upset caused by stress overeating and toxins. It helps soothe the bowel, prevent gas and stimulate stomach secretions, aiding in digestion. This one to me, so I take it and I can feel it in my chest. It has um, 
It's probably the, I'm assuming it has peppermint. I didn't even look. There has, is ginger. Yeah, peppermint's the first ingredient. Um, it has a whole bunch of really good stuff in here, but it, it just is, to me, it's just a really natural, gentle cleanse um, without, you, you're not going to feel a nasty difference. But if you have an upset stomach or things like that, this is a really, really good one to take. I definitely, you, there's one uh, in here. I take this every other day. I take, I keep it on my bedside table and I take it, which is such a weird, but I don't forget then. Anyway, um, I take it every other day all the time. And then if my kids have, well, Molly, cause she can still want to get smaller pills, but if she has some sort of an upset stomach or thing like that, I give her digesting cleanse as well. Um, Jen's going to talk about mighty pro, but that's such a good one for younger kids. So I really just want you guys to keep in mind, loving your gut. These are so simple. If you can only pick one, start with life nine. Start with Life Nine, everybody in your family. And these are sort of, I, I consider this a necessity for gut health, but you have to think about more than just adding stuff. You want to make sure you're properly removing things from your body as well. And Jen touched on exercise, but if you have a heavy stomach or you're constipated or you're bloated, or you have all sorts of gas and things like that, um, you're not going to be able to exercise as well. You're not going to be able to sleep as well. And you're just not going to feel as well. But on a cellular level, it is vital for our immune system to be able to make all the new bacteria um, that we need. That really is going to be the nitty gritty of our emotions and making sure that our body is able to kind of fight off independently. Okay. So I was originally going to talk about Mighty Pro, but then I realized later in the month, we're going to be talking a lot about kid stuff as far as immune systems go. So before we move on from gut though, I want us to talk to you guys about essential zymes Four. who has used this digestive enzyme before it comes in a packet and you take both of them, but I've tried all of the digestive enzymes from young living. And this is by far my favorite one. Yes. It's pricey. It's so worth it though. You guys, um, we're going to talk about food later on, but when you're talking about supporting your immune system through food and your gut health, like you want to be getting the most out of the food that you're eating. So it's not coming out as waste, but if we're not breaking it down our food properly, then you're not going to get the most out of your food. So it helps to take a digestive enzyme. And I personally think this one is by far the best because of the way that young living has put this together. So there's two different pills. The yellow color one is going to um, break down those plant enzymes. So it's designed to have released like immediately upon entering your stomach. And it's doing that because that's where the pH environment is generally more acidic and more conducive to the enzymes contained in this capsule, which are going to be your plant-based ones. The more natural color one is going to be your animal proteins that it's going to be breaking down. So that is designed to delay its release in the lower intestine region where the environment is more alkaline and the pH level is more suited to the enzymes contained in this capsule. So the reason I think that this is the best digestive enzyme for me, it may not be for other people, but for me personally, I have noticed that everything works a little bit better when I'm using this. I feel better. I feel like my exercise is better. I sleep better. And I really do think it's because my body is effectively breaking down everything that it's actually getting. So then it can come back and support my immune system in the best way possible. Um, so if you haven't tried this supplement, I highly recommend getting it. It's going to help you with a variety of things to include supporting, helping support your immune system. Um, okay. Chelsea, what was the next thing I was supposed to talk about? Cleanliness. Okay. So this is going to be kind of twofold. Like it's, when Chelsea explained it, um, she, she talked about obvious things, right? Like let's wash our hands. Let's cover our mouth. Let's tell our kids to use their germ jail, right? Like these seem like obvious things, but to kids, it's not, um, it gets all over. So some good things to have in your arsenal, the thief spray, spray down handles, spray down carts, things like that. I always keep this in my purse. Um, and in my car, it's just nice to have, um, Soap, you guys, this seems super simple, but like use your hand soap, refill your hand soap, use your hand sanitizer, things like that. I mean, I know that seems super simple, um, but I'm going to also get into the toxin part of this. Also, thieves, household cleaner, like this should replace everything 
in your home. So I know that seems simple of like cleanliness, but there's also a, a whole other reason why you should be using these products. And it has to do with your chemical exposure and your toxic burden. So when we're talking about things like that, signs of you having toxic burden, um, high toxic burden, things like headaches, irritability, brain fog, bloating, sugar cravings, um, trouble losing weight, getting sick really often, skin issues. Um, and that's gonna, that's showing that you have a weak immune system. Um, and obviously our immune system is just super complex and is going to promote things like good or bad gut, gut health, stress, reduce sleep, toxin exposure, things like that, that we were talking about. Um, but I specifically wanted to talk a little bit about how chemicals actually affect your immune system so that you understand why, when we're talking about, it's so important to use thieves, household cleaner. It's so important to use, um, you know, good quality hand soap from young living. There's a reason because these chemicals are known to be endocrine disruptors. And those also impact our immune system. Um, you know, as immune cells that they have hormone receptors and endocrine disruptors, they mimic those hormones and throw out this delicate hormonal imbalance, just completely out of sync. And kids and babies are so much greater risk with these chemicals. Um, and even exposure in pregnancy and early childhood, I mean, that can create really big health concerns, things like asthma and allergies. Um, so things like BPAs, phthalates, flame retardant chemicals, formaldehyde, those are things you really, really want to be avoiding. Those are going to be the main culprits that are going to suppress your immune system. And there have been studies that found that immune systems um, are highly sensitive to BPA exposure um, and particularly in the Im immature immune system. So when we're dealing with small children, that's why it's so important to teach them good hygiene from the beginning. Um, so there's just a few ways that you guys can, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reduce, thank you, <laughs> such an easy word. Reduce your exposure to immune system damaging chemicals and therefore helping your immune system work at the highest level. So um, things that you can do, I mean, this seems so simple, but switching out your household cleaner, switching out your soaps, using as many natural and organic things that you possibly can. Um, just things like filter your air and your water, um, choose organic products like produce when you're able to do that. Um, depending on what your budget is, go buy the dirty dozen and just start with those things. Um, use clean body care and household products like I talked about. Um, and then things like we just talked about, like your gut health, like what kind of supplements are you putting into your body? Because what's on the bottle at some of these stores is not necessarily what they're testing for in labs. So um, you know, there's a lot of things that we can do, but I think just switching out every single month, a new product that you're using in your home, whether it's personal care, home care, um, your detergent, whatever it is, it's going to have a huge impact on your health. Um, for those of you guys that don't know me well, I suffer from Graves disease, which is an autoimmune disease. And when I switched out the toxins, like all of the cleaners and whatnot from my home and candles, it was like, a pretty immediate change in my health and my numbers. And that's when that was right after I started young living. And I was like, okay, I'm a believer because your numbers don't lie. Blood work doesn't lie. Like maybe I can have this placebo effect when it comes to sleep, but your numbers don't lie. Like my immune system was getting better and it was getting stronger. So just some things to think about you guys. Um, so I'm not going to harp on that too long. It's like my favorite thing to talk about is getting chemicals out of your home. Um, but I will pass it on to Chelsea so that we can get to you guys to some protocols and things like that. Love that. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna do stress. And it's sort of, there's so many oils for stress and emotions. And I know we have recordings and images. I definitely really, really encourage you guys to, as you come across things that help, post in your groups and share, use your groups as resources. But I'm gonna touch on some stuff that you may not use frequently. And the first one is MindWise. So I love MindWise so much. And this was a lifesaver for me after I had Max. I have a 20 month old. I'll be 20 months in a couple of days and that's devastating. But um, this has CoQ10 and Omegas in it. I actually wanted to read something really quick. Um, but it, so it, ha it, help, it has turmeric. It supports normal brain and heart function, supports heart health by replenishing the body with CoQ10. 
which is also very, very good for headaches and migraines. Um, it contains a high proportion of unsaturated fatty acids and omega-3 fatty acids. You guys, omegas and emotional health have been studied for a very, very, very long time. This helps with brain fog. It helps with focus. It helps with emotions. And it just, it, it helps with concentration, which is focus. I already said that. Um, it is, it kind of tastes like prune juice a little bit to me. It's kind of nutty, but to me, it's 100% worth worth it. I It comes in two different forms. This is the most cost-effective, but it also comes in portable sassets, which are really, really nice. But I cannot recommend this high enough. I really, really want you guys to be, be taking Omegas. Young Living has um, Omega Gize, which is amazing. But for me, this is an easy button because I'm also looking for something with CoQ10 and I'm also looking for something with brain fog. So if you also, I, I put it in the comments earlier, but you guys like Young Living supplements are formulated genius. Like it blows my mind how they put things together. And a lot of times people are like, okay, I see this has CoQ10, cool. It doesn't say anything about Omegas on the front, but they're in there. So if you guys get the free Life Step app or search the groups or come on calls like these, you're going to be able to get more information and realize like for me, I order um, Omega Gize occasionally, but not regularly because we take this regularly. And this has the Omegas. Um, and so I'm comfortable for what, I feel like my family needs to do it that way. Um, but this helping, this helps, especially with postpartum, but really across the board. Um, I feel, per, firmly feel like every woman sh should be taking mine wise. The other, another thing I wanted to talk about was um, uh, CBD. We have an amazing line of CBD that really, really helps with, this is the calm roll on, um, but they really, it really helps with calm and emotions and being steady. There are so many oils. And I actually wanted to touch on that. Think tree oils um, for me and for everyone, but there's a way that they affect your brain. There's a certain area of your brain that is only stimulated by natural sense. And that being stimulated helps with your emotions. Diffuse, 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 diffuse. I mean, I don't, even if you're just like, my house smells fine. I don't care. I don't care about the smell of your house to be totally honest. Like, great. That's a perk. I'm so glad that your house doesn't stink, but constantly diffusing is going to stimulate different areas of your brain. And that is so important for immune health. It's so important for emotional health. It's so important for focus. And like when I first started using Young Living, I put the same oil in all the diffusers so that it didn't smell like from room to room. Now every room has a different diffuser going and it depends on what we're doing. And so like the living room will have like a, an emotional one, like stress away and peace and calming while the um, area the kids do homework will have like genius and peppermint and rosemary for focus. And our brains just from a from a like sciency level, going from room to room and smelling all of these different things is 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 exercising our brains. Different areas of our brains are stimulated by different scents and natural scents, not cheapo fragrance things like that. And so it is so great. Tree oils are so 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 good for emotions. Idaho balsam fir is my wait Idaho grand fir excuse me is my favorite oil hands down zero question about it and it has done magic for emotions um so i i think that's what i had for for um the, and, and like i said there are so much more but we wanted to talk about some things that you guys might not have have heard okay so just touching on sleep real quick obviously you guys can be diffusing i think most people that use essential oils are even people that don't use essential oils know things like lavender and cedar wood and frankincense and whatnot are going to help you sleep. Let's just go straight to the big guns, you guys. Who has used a MuPro? Anyone? Okay, let's talk about supporting our immune system and also supporting sleep. And good sleep means better immune support. So, you guys, if you don't have this, it just came back in stock. You need to order it right now. I'll be honest with you. They are big, chewable tablets. And I'm like very much a texture person. So it's hard for me. I will cut them in half or even in fourth and take them little by little. The flavor is totally fine. It's a texture thing for me, but you guys, the benefits from it outweigh, like you just have to get over that. Like <laughs> you just have to get over it. It makes it really easy. There's so many things in our lives that we don't want to do. We still do it because benefits. So 
I'm going to read something straight from the desk reference about this, you guys, because there's a lot of big words and I'm not that smart to remember them. So I want to read this directly for you because if this doesn't sell you on this, then I, I don't even know what to do anymore. Um, okay. So it talks about all of the things that are in here, but it talks about the organic mushrooms are the highest known sources of a rich variety of beta glucans, potent immune stimulating polysaccharides that have been documented by numerous studies as having significant immune boosting effects. Yes. Yes. That's enough for me. Thank you. I will take that because it's easy. It's an easy button. So then not only is it immune supporting because of that, then it also combines complex and potent immune boosting minerals, such as zinc. We all know we need zinc in this current world right now, copper and selenium. It also contains melatonin. So this is going to have more melatonin than the sleep essence supplement. So for me, I'm like, I'd rather have more than less. That's just me. Um, it's one of the most powerful immune stimulants known. So, I mean, all of that together, you guys. So melatonin level levels steadily decrease with age, which is a factor that contributes to accelerated aging. So I'm like, okay, this is going to support my immune system. I'm going to get better sleep. And perhaps I'm going to have less wrinkles. So <laughs> I just made that last part up, but to me, that's how I read it. So I'm like, yes, I'm sold. We need this in our life. Um, hope all of you guys just went and added a new pro to your orders because I mean, it's, it's so good for so many things. There's just no reason we shouldn't be taking it. Um, so I don't take this every night. I probably take it a few times a week just because I don't want my body to not produce as much melatonin as it like naturally would. But a few times a week, I'm like, yes, give me all of that immune supporting goodness. Um, and then it kind of just helps get me back on track with sleep too. If I'm really struggling with sleep, I'll start taking this for two to three days and it gets me back on track and I feel great. So, um, if you guys haven't tried it yet, cause it's been out of stock, highly recommend grabbing that. So number one thing for sleep also twofold with your immune supporting. I also wanted to get on here and say sleep essence. We have three bottles of this right now because Emmy pro is out of stock. I will say Emmy pro is our family favorite. I'm not going to change my mind on that one, but we have three bottles of sleep essence because it works so, 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 so well as well. Um, and I started to panic that because Emmy pro was out of stock and I was like, Oh my God, what if sleep essence goes out of stock? I'm the same with, um, Jen. I don't take it every night, but our Molly takes sleep essence, Joe, or immune pro, um, and Joe and I all do too. Um, the other thing I really want to, wanted to add for sleep is rutavala is bomb. When we first got it, um, I got into oils. My husband thought it smelled like old feet or like dirty socks. Now we both love it. And I, I just kind of want to drill in. Like if something doesn't smell great to you, you can put it on your feet and put socks over it. It'll still get in your system. Now I'm not going to be able to, I'm going to be like, what's the call? I love the way this smells, but I was repulsed by it at first. And guess what? I was not sleeping well at all. I was not relaxed at all when we first started. And oh my God, um, I cannot recommend Rudavala higher. I also really like Tranquil. I feel like Root of all is much more of a sleep and tranquil is much more of a, of, of a relax, but I did want to share this. I have an aunt who's like, I think she's 78 and she's not oily at all. Very like, she's so proud of me and blah, 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 but it's just not her jam. And she stayed at my parents' house one night, four or five years ago. And she, I gave her some tranquil. She's like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to relax enough to fall asleep because they had a really stressful flight. And I gave her some tranquil and I was like, just trust me, put it on the bottom of your feet Every two or three months since that trip, she mails me a check of, for whatever it costs. And she's like, can you please mail this to my house? And so now I'm like, keep trying to beat her to it. And I'm like, okay, she's probably going to mail me soon. So I like send it without, you know, and I'm now obviously don't cast her checks, but like, it's all she wants. She's not interested in anything else at all, but it just calms her enough to really get into a really good sleep. So I really also encourage you guys to try oils for sleep and then go to something like Immu Pro. Like that's what our family does is we use oils. And then if we need to be up or we just know we're not going to fall asleep because your body does kind of get used to things. Um, so root of all and tranquil, don't tell me about this, the stink. I know, but I love it now. And I promise, promise, promise you will love it later too. Um, 
I did want to talk about, I don't know which category this would go into, um, but I'm, I want to talk about mineral essence because I think it's just so key it, with health. This is my favorite supplement. Mineral essence is my favorite supplement. No question. I do want to, um, it is, it's minerals, balanced full spectrum ionic mineral complex enhanced with essential oils and magnesium. Um, I can post it in other groups, but I made a post the other day in have lever oily about, and I'm going to pull it up. Um, the testimonials that have come from this are absolutely epic. I add it to Max's milk. He's 19 months and three quarters and just, a, just a couple of drops and he drinks it every single day. I take it every single day because Every, I don't remember what the little saying is, but it's like every disease is based somewhere in um, not having enough minerals. This, you can add it to your bath. You can add it to Epsom salt into your bath. You can, there's a really good lemonade that a lot of people make and we can share all these if you guys remind me. So it has, magnesium activates over 300 enzyme reactions in your body. The reason it's ionic minerals, it's because they're the quickest absorbed form of minerals available. Okay. So you're not wasting it. Minerals are essential for the, um, to the variety of bodily functions. They're important for building strong bones, teeth, blood, hair, nerve function, you guys, muscles. They also turn our food into energy. If you are mineral depleted, you are going to ache. You are going to be tired. You are not going to be able to fully digest all the good food. So if you, you can spend $700 on groceries, but if you're not taking, if you don't have enough minerals and if you aren't taking the enzymes to break them down, your body is just going to pass them. Um, and you're not going to get all of the, the goodness that you need. It does have Royal jelly, um, which is huge in amino acids and B vitamins. It comes, it's derived from bees. So if you're allergic to honey, be cautious. Um, I do, I don't like the taste of this. It, it's kind of hard to explain. It's almost spicy, um, but it it it's kind of tastes like cinnamon. And you you guys remember what um big red tastes like? That uh, gum from I don't know. I guess they still sell it. But I don't need it. It kind of tastes like that. But you can add it to your ninja shot. You can add it to your bath. Max gets a couple drops and has for since he was about twelve months old, and he doesn't. He drinks it. So. Um, it is so epic for emotions. It's also from the testimonials that I've seen, I don't have personal experience with this, but there are people who have had cavities who are more prone to cavities. When they take mineral essence, they stopped getting cavities, which I think is huge. And a big reason why I definitely believe we need to find a way to get our kids to have this. Um, it's my favorite supplement. And that I think is a lot. I've I would be very surprised if there aren't any that I have not tried for long periods of time. I am ride or die with supplements. When I first started with Young Living, I, I did not care. I thought they were all the same, um, you know, it, things like that. But this one, joints and emotions and nerve endings and pain, I, I cannot, like, it's literally like a mom's, to me, it's like a mom's dream come true. And I know I'm not getting into Molly right now, but this has been a game changer for her as well. So I don't care if you don't, I'm like, you're, I'm like putting on my mom voice. I don't care if you don't like it. It's good for you when you're going to take it. And I say that with love because I promise you, if you take this for 45 days, and the reason I'm saying 45 and I normally say 30 is because it goes so deep into things like pain and, and nerves and things like that, that I want you to really get a chance to feel it, not just for to start, feel it, but to really feel it. I don't think you will ever not take this. Okay. Um, so I did want to talk about that really quick, which I don't know what category that is, but that's fine. Maybe because it's in all the categories. All right. I feel like with this call, we took it in a different direction than I think a lot of other, um, like immune support calls would go, but we just wanted to kind of show you guys that your immune system and supporting it is so multifaceted. Um, it's not just like put on some thieves and you're good to go. There's so many aspects of taking care of your body. Um, but we did want to go into more of like the underground part. And hopefully a lot of you guys can share in the comments, some of your testimonials. I'm just going to give you guys two really quick ones that our family completely swears by. And I think that you guys all need these oils. And then 
anyone else feels like they are brave enough to take their mic off and give us some um, of their testimonials, that would be great. Okay. I don't have the oil downstairs with me. It's up in my bathroom, but detox baths, you guys, anytime I feel like myself or my kids are coming down with something, we do a detox bath and we put cilantro essential oil in it. That in my opinion is the best detox oil that you can use. Um, and a lot of people don't know about it. They don't buy it. I will never go without it in my home. The first sign of a sniffle, I give my kids a detox bath and you use one drop of cilantro and that's all you need. And I swear my kids like flip right back. Um, it's magical one drop you guys. Um, okay. The second one is, this is something I learned years ago. My kids were getting sick and I felt like we were doing all the right things. We were using thieves, we were eating well, we were taking in our supplements. And I was like, why are they not getting better? Um, and I felt like maybe I was just doing way too much for them. And I remember reading in one of the groups about, um, backing off from immune boosting oils like thieves and just going back to basics, um, of immune supporting oils like lavender and frankincense. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try this. So lavender frankincense. And then I started adding in a pro and once Egyptian gold finally came back in stock, it was like years for me being a member before it came back. I will take lavender and frankincense and put it with a carrier oil and rub it up and down their spine. A lot of that oil. Um, and then I'll take one drop of a mupro or one drop of Egyptian gold and do the same thing over their spine, um, several times a day in the bottoms of their feet. And you guys, I swear within 24 hours, my kids are better. Their fevers go away. I mean, this has been a game changer protocol for my family. I can't necessarily say that it would be for yours because everyone's body is different. Um, but I highly recommend having those oils on hand, lavender, frankincense, almost everyone has those. If you have a starter kit, if you can get your hands on a Mupro and, or Egyptian gold, then I highly recommend that. And always, always, always have cilantro in your arsenal. Okay. So anyone else want to share? Ashley, Rachel, Allison, anybody, I know you guys got something. Sure. Um, it's funny because I feel like I'm just going to talk about dumping oils on people, but that's okay. I love the science behind our immune system and how it works and how to support it. And just the amazing job that you ladies did on talking about supplements, because that is key to long-term success. So I'm going to tell you things that we have worked, um, that I tell people to use that we've used, but really the long-term game is playing the healthy game, like playing that overall health game is how you're going to keep yourself from slipping just constantly into sickness, constantly into like, um, you know, when we'd say people are always sick and it's not a chronic issue, but it's like, they literally are just always sick, catching a virus, getting a bacterial infection like that is not going to be. And let me say there are exceptions, but the general rule is keep yourself always healthy and supported. And you're going to detect when you have a pattern that's not normal for your body. Like if you've never had strep throat and you get it four times once a month, the next four months, like that would be a not normal pattern. Something's going on, something's abnormal and you want to figure it out. If you have allergies and all of a sudden you're blowing like green snot out of your nose and coughing up chunks of it, like that's not normal out of your norm, going to be a different kind of support. But my son reminded me tonight, he was like, do you remember? And it was just really funny because the way he said it was like, he was fighting going to bed. He's like, do you remember when I had all those scary fevers and used oils in my back and it healed me and people came to pray over me and I missed school. That's literally said. I was like, yeah, that yes. And I will tell you guys, I don't have a diagnosis for it. We never probably will, which is great. But I really sick kid for about a year, um, like fevers, just 103, 104 fevers constantly, like going to the ER, nothing was wrong. Like just all the things. We developed a couple of different protocols to support his immune system. The first one was a traditional protocol that I would tell everyone to do. Use a raindrop kit, get it. You don't need to use a technique. Dump every oil from that kit on their body. Do it uh, every four hours, tons. And I mean, from the sniffles to I have the plague. Like I, that is the number one thing I tell people to do with their oils. It's simple. And that oils, that kit is so versatile. The second thing is get your kids to ingest oils. Uh, Copaiba. In general, really mild tasting. You can put it right in Ninja Red, get them to drink it. Anti-inflammatory, gonna help them fight all kinds of stuff in their body and they can't taste it. It's really a hard sell. It's a hard pass for most kids. Like here's some thieves and honey, I don't know. Rachel will get her kids to do it. But like my kids are like, this is disgusting. 
like four drops of thieves with some honey and hot water. My kids are not like screaming. This is amazing. They might do it, but it's not something I can do often, but I definitely can hide Copaiba. I can hide a good amount of lemon. And, um, my kid, my oldest, it's 11. Definitely at this point, we could do thieves pretty easily, but when they were younger, I definitely relied on Copaiba and lemon a lot. And then the raindrop. Well, when we thought we were fighting a bacterial infection, that's what we were doing a lot of, and he was four and then detox baths, but detox baths followed by okay, lukewarm detox baths, right? Cause you're actually trying to get your kid to get their immune system to be shocked, right? And if they have a fever, you don't want to put them in a hot bath, but you're also not like ice bathing them. Cause that's a terrible reaction for like a 40 pound kid. But we were doing like a lukewarm bath with four cups of Epsom salt and 15 drops of oil using raindrop oils, like whatever combination you wanted. Um, I prefer not too hot oils, right? So if you can do like an oil that's really, like if you could do like thyme and valor, that would be way better than you doing like oregano and basil together, but cypress and basil will be fine. Like you just you be intuitive in nature. If they feel spicy on your skin, they're going to feel spicy on your kid's butt. They're going to feel spicy in your butt. Like think about it a little bit. So definitely a lot of that. And then once we learned that a lot of the immune system's response was actually, um, to combat emotional, um, perceived or real trauma, don't really know. Cause it wasn't my body. We actually used the same system of applying to the spine and feet, um, with the feelings kit oils. And so if you've been around me for a long time, I feel like you will heard me say this, but I cannot say it enough that like that, those two things, do go hand in hand. You have to figure out what's going on, but that's a lot of oils. And my kid was four. Like every time I think I'm like, he was four. And that's how much we used. I mean, we were literally every four hours doing full on like 50 drops of oil, tons like dumping. So you can't dump enough on people. Um, you never heard me say that I feel like, here, so, story about Ethan. Yeah. That's my protocol is biomat and feelings. We do it every night. Still the feelings kit oils as a raindrop on a spine. Like I literally just did it to him an hour ago. So we've done it every year. I mean, every day from his five years. And I mean, even we drive, watch it, the biomat, he plays space on the biomat. We do the feelings, get oils and it's amazing. Um, I will, or I can teach you to do it. So you can do it for everyone every night. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, um, another big thing is the bath is a battle for most older kids. I don't know if you guys find this, but my husband, my kids have gotten older. They don't want to take it. Like it's really hard for me to get my two older kids to take a bath. They're not really into that. They want to like take a shower and be done. So I try to make it enticing by doing the detox bath with the expensive layer of like also a bath bomb, right? I don't love to do that, but it's really enticing to them and they'll stay in there longer. And sometimes they still want to shower and wash their hair, even though they're boys, because it's like gross and the Epsom salt. They don't like, they don't like to smell like basil. I don't know why it's shocking to me, but I have really found that those things help with immune stimulation when you're trying to fight sickness that you don't know what it is. It's the beginning stages or it's abnormal and you're pretending like it's not like the person, you know, you're on here, you know, I mean, I'll raise my hand. You're like, it's allergies. And you're like, you're actually sick. Right. And you're like, it's, I'm just having, a, there's a lot of pollen in the grass and you just are like that. Or you're like, I threw up yesterday and I kind of had a headache today, but I'm, I'm fine. It's totally normal. I'm just dehydrated. It's very hot. Like, do I have anybody like that? Raise your hand. Cause that's funny. That's nobody. Oh, it's totally me. Chelsea. Yeah. Who else? Kathy. Yeah. It's, it's funny, right? Because you, you need to support the system so much then. And, um, my other hopeful, I mean, ho hopefully it's a helpful tip is with autoimmune issues, specifically my husband fights a couple of different autoimmune things that he's not really great about keeping up with protocols. He will for like a hot minute and they'll stop and then he'll do it for a while and they'll stop. It's really fun. Um, but what we found for him is sulfurzyme is the number one key component for his body to not, not fight his body. So for him to keep inflammation under control, um, capsules of copaiba are great, but really sulfurzyme like 12 to 18 a day are clutch for him to keep his body under control and celery seed. I feel like it's another weird one talking about immune system. Like you're, you know, cilantro, celery seed, all these weird things that you would just think you're cooking with. Uh, celery seed is really helpful for breaking up any kind of uric acid deposit. So that could be gout, but it also could be people that have unexplained weird levels. Like some people just have weird crap in their blood. It's unexplained. It's not connected to diet. It's going to break up. That's a longer, I mean, a longer, a larger type of acidic crystal sized toxin. I mean, it's like gross. It's like literally sticks together in your body and blocks, um, blocks off blood flow, blocks off the ability for tendons to attach. It's just crazy. So celery seed, and that would be like 20 drops in a capsule, the biggest size, what is it? Double, 
Double zero is normal zero, right? The biggest one zero is false and triple zero. I don't know. When you go on Amazon and buy clear veggie capsules, the largest size one fits 20 drops. That's the one that we use for most of our oil dosages for adults. For our kids, we definitely use the one, which is double zero, that fits 12. And kids can swallow capsules, right? Do we, do we need to say that? Maybe it's a fun tip. Kids can swallow capsules how? Like this, right? You have capsule in the mouth, they get water. Why? Because it pushes the capsule to the back of their throat. And the only choice they have is to make it go down. So like my seven-year-old last year, when he was not even sick yet, last fall, uh, I taught him to swallow capsules and he can literally swallow every single supplement. But I don't know why it has to be a veggie capsule supplement. So if you try like a super B, I don't know. It's the only one I can think of. It doesn't work because it's like circular and it gets caught in their throat. And it's super tragic because, you know, it feels weird. But you can definitely get your kids to swallow capsules at a young age if you teach them that. Put your head down instead of because you're really cutting off your airway like a widget breathing on your esophagus. All right. I feel like I probably had other things to share, but I took up a lot of time. So who's next? Who's next? Don't make me call on people. I will. You guys, feel free to put it in the chat too if you um. If you can't talk or you don't want to talk, feel free to put it in there and share the wealth with us. One thing really quick, because we uh, we missed it, is um, Ninja Greens. So if you're someone who's someone who, someone who's someone, if you're someone who's someone who has trouble getting all the nutrients you need, Ninja Greens is a really, really easy way to just scoop it into your Ninja or into your shakes. And it has all that mushroom goodness, even more than Jen was talking about for um, Timmy Pro. But Everybody needs this, um, just so you know. 60 botanicals and mushrooms, energy, immune support, and gut health. Okay, who's next? I can say a couple things that I do. Can y'all hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, earlier I had my kids like on me, so I had to turn my screen off. But um, this is such a, I don't want to say a broad topic for me, but I honestly, when something's going down at my house, I just throw everything at the wall that I have. Um, and so my biggest and best tip for you is just whatever you have, like use it, experiment with it. I mean, at any given time, I can't say that I have like the exact same thing in the house. Um, I try to always keep all the things that I would like to have, but <clears throat> that's not always the case. And so what I like to make sure that I do is that I have a steady stream of um, whether it's supplements or oils going, it's just consistency is going to be huge when you're fighting something. So it's whether it's taking a supplement of some sort of every hour, applying oil of some sort, constantly diffusing, like you just kind of, you want to equip your body to fight. I mean, I'm a very visual person. So Essentially what you're doing is if you're in the castle, you are giving your army the ammunition to fight whatever is attacking your body. And so you just have to just keep equipping, keep equipping, because depending on the virus or whatever is attacking your body and the strength of the virus, like you are just going to have to be dedicated. Um, so a few of the things that I like to do, if there's something that I cannot kick with just, I mean, if I'm using all like thieves, Egyptian gold, um, frankincense, I will use, if you guys have rose or if you have Melissa oil, you can add those, either one or both, to your um, viral blends. Um, I love to add those to my protocol if I'm like, oh my gosh, like I don't know what is going on, but I, I have got to kick this like yesterday. And that really levels up um, that, that roller for you. It's really going to just level up your protection. Um, Things that I like to do, I loved the tip about copaiba. So when I learned this from Christina Teff, I don't know if she's on, but um, there have been times with my kids, my one daughter gets croup really bad and frankincense and lemon is the clutch combo for that. Um, so the minute you hear a bark or you, you know, like it happens fast. I don't know if you have kids that have the propensity towards that, but it can happen really fast. I do frankincense and lemon in the diffuser right next to their head. Um, frankincense, lemon on the throat, on the chest, on the top of the back. Um, and then I'll have a humidifier going as well. 
Um, and then if it like gets worse, or if I have some crazy lung things going on with my kids, even my baby Luke, he was on oxygen when he came home and he got RSV. Um, we were doing, um, a nebulizer with a, um, food grade hydrogen peroxide solution. It's, there's a recipe um, that I made, but I was doing that every hour, but I'm gonna tell you the one thing that was clutch for us was the copaiba under his tongue. Like I would just put it on my finger and rub it all over his mouth and under his tongue. And I do the exact same thing with my kids when I feel like there's some scary stuff with their lungs going on. Obviously you have to know when to take your kids in for sure, 100%. Like I'm not, I'm the first person to tell you no one to take your kids kids in but in the meantime in the interim like use that copaiba you can also use it topically so that's a very very mild oil and I love uh, we don't really talk about that much for like chest or like cough or but that is just a great one all around like that to me is like lavender copaiba we use that topically on the top of the back for chest anything um and it's great for little babies as well um, my favorite blend for immunity, if anybody's sick is thieves and purification. This is like, it seems so basic. I know it sounds bad, but like, it is just a classic for us. If anyone in our house is sick, thieves and purification go in all the diffusers and in the diffuser next to the person who doesn't feel well. Um, and then my little last tip as far as throat is concerned, always keep the thieves throat lozenges on hand. You guys do it. Like have like two bags in your, I don't know. Like when someone around here has a sore throat, we all start sucking on those things. Okay. Um, you can also use the thieves, um, mouthwash. If you gargle with it, it has colloidal silver in it. And that is super helpful with, his, with the uh, sore throat, um, applying purification on the outside of the throat. And then you can even make a throat spray to carry with you with some of the, with copaiba, with thieves, a pinch of salt, a little bit of water. And if you have the mouthwash, add a little bit of that. And I literally will walk around with it and just spray my throat legit all day. Um, I could go on forever, but those are just a few of my favorite hacks with the oils. Um, and then obviously a couple of the supplements. And then I know we have to go at 9 30. Um, my kids have supersede the chewable every day. We'll do one in the morning and one at night. If they're not feeling well, we do the MU Pro. Like Chelsea was saying, we cut it in like, I think it's a third that they get that they'll chew. Um, and then Ninja Red and Mighty Pro is just clutch for us for this time of year. Okay, thank you. Does anyone, Has else anyone talk about the elderberry syrup? No, do it. I'm learning so much from you. Tell us all the things. Um, so there's in all of our groups, guys, there's lots of, well, not lots of, we all, I think we all use the same elderberry syrup recipe, but you will find, I know it kind of seems like a fad or whatever. It is not <laughs> elderberry is something that you just want to have on hand through the winter. You can take it. Um, there's instructions and I can post it. Well, I'll post it in my group and then we'll all share it in all the groups. But you can take it preventatively. So if your kids or you are exposed um, to all the junk, which I feel like is already going around, you can, I think it's like a teaspoon every single day and then you skip the weekend. And then if you start to get sick, you can increase the dosage. Um, but it's awesome because it's made with elderberries, but it also has essential oils in it and it tastes really good. So the super potent essential oils like cinnamon, orange. Um, I forget there's obviously a cup of clove I think might be in it. Um, my kids take it and have no issues as far as taste or getting those down, whether it's, it's not even hot or anything because it's so diluted. Um, but it's incredibly effective, especially when you're not feeling that great. Um, so I would suggest if you don't want to make it ahead of time, just keeping the elderberries on hand, and then you can just actually make it in the Instant Pot. It's super fast. Um, I've made it for friends and it has been like one of my favorite things. I honestly gifted at Christmas. Like I make jars and I gift it to all my mama friends at Christmas. And it is the best gift. I give it with the recipe. Um, but it's something too, you could gift to your teachers, your kids, teachers, 
And something that I would on, I would really encourage you to start have elderberry syrup parties. We all, how many of you guys have done that last year? Literally go in on a few bags of elderberries, have all your friends over, collect jars. You guys all make it together. And then now you know how to make it. And then you could do it like what, every month, every couple months, just to kind of keep it going. But it's just really, that is a huge um, layer to staying healthy, especially when you're getting sick with viral stuff. Well, that was bomb. Does anybody else have anything to share before we close it down? I missed these calls so much, you know, like we spend time getting ready and like preparing things for you guys, but I swear the hearing from people and like sharing your real testimonials is just so, so, so valuable. So I want to thank everybody. Thank you guys for being so awesome in the comments too. Um, I think it it's just, it, it adds a lot of value to the call, whether you're active in the comments or you were willing to unmute and, and share. And so we really appreciate that a lot. Um, I thought this was great. I learned a lot. Um, I think Jen and I are going to try to break this down into a couple of posts that um, over the next few days, or maybe I'll do it. Jen's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Um <laughs> Um, but to try to really just maybe make some bundle ideas for you guys. Um, I do want to remind you, I know there's a couple new people on here and there's, you know, there's a lot of veterans that when we suggest these things, we don't necessarily mean do everything, but like Jen had mentioned before, the beauty and loyalty rewards is you can get a couple things. And like, like when I order sleep, even though I ordered three, so this is a terrible example, but when I order sleep essence, I'm not taking it every night, but I have it when I need it. You might not need cilantro tomorrow um, or celery seed, but if you, if you want it, you're, you want it that minute and you're not going to have it. So I really, really encourage you. I know Jen talked about this, that order something that gets the toxin out of your home every month. And order, order a new supplement, you know, either search the groups or come on the calls and figure out like, okay, this is the one I think I need. And it's going to be mineral essence, but, um, you know, then try a new supplement every month, try ditch and switch something every month. And you are going to see massive changes over time. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys' participation. I know I said that, but like it, it's just fun and it's, it makes, you know, you spend these times preparing for these classes. So it means a lot when, when people show up and, and and, you know, are really participating. So I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section of the call. So maybe some other people can see it and we will eventually get the recording up um, for members. And I appreciate you guys. I know the next Oily Underground is in two weeks. Yep. And 20th. Yep. And it is actually just so I don't remember. It's, it's more focused on kids. kids. Immune health. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's why we didn't touch on a lot of like the kids supplements and things like that. You can look more for that in two weeks. Perfect. Great. Good to know. Cause I think I'm teaching that one too. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I love you guys and I'll smell you later.